unit orthogonal vectors. Given vector u equals to 1 minus 2, 3 and v 0, 4 minus 3, determine the unit vector perpendicular to given vectors. So in this example, we need to find a vector which is perpendicular to both u and v. Now that could be a result of cross product, correct? So that is how we can find orthogonal vector. So there are actually two parts to this question. One is to find a vector which is perpendicular to both, which we can get by cross product. So let us say that vector w is equals to vector u cross vector v. In that case, vector w will be perpendicular to both u and v. So let's first find the vector which is perpendicular to both u and v. And then we'll find its magnitude, dividing magnitude for this vector will give us unit vector which is perpendicular to both. So these are the steps to be followed. So let's first find the cross product between u and v. u is 1 minus 2, 3 cross 0, 4 minus 3, right? So I'll adopt my method of cross product which will write these numbers starting from the center number minus 2, 3, 1 ending at the center number. That's the first u vector u and then for the second we'll start with 4 minus 3 0 and 4. So I actually like this technique of calculating the cross product where i components or the x components are these and then y components are these I mean the determinants right and then z components are these. So I can now write down w as equal to minus 2 times minus 3 which gives me 6 minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12. Now the y component along j unit vector will be 3 times 0 which is 0 minus minus 3 times 1 which is plus 3. And the k component will be 4 and that gives me 0 so it's just 4. So let me rewrite this as 6 minus 12 as minus 6 and then we have 3 and here 4. So vector w is orthogonal to both u and v. My just orthogonal is not unit vector perpendicular to both u and v, right? So what we have here is a vector w which is perpendicular to u and v. Now so we got vector w which is perpendicular to both u and v. Correct. So that is what we got here. Now let's find magnitude of vector w. So magnitude will be square root of minus 6 square plus 3 square plus 4 square, right? And that gives me square root of 36 plus 9 plus 16. Let's use the calculator and find this value, right? So we get what? We get 36 plus 9 plus 16 equals to 61 and uh, square root of 61 equals to, well, let's write square root of 61. So magnitude of vector w is square root of 61 and therefore unit vector will be what? So unit vector We can write this as w and sometimes we write that that is a nomenclature for unit vector should be vector divided by its magnitude right so when i divide the vector by its magnitude then i get unit vector right because the magnitude divided by magnitude gives me one right therefore that should be equals to one over square root of 61 of the vector which is minus six three four Right? Or I could write this as minus 6 over square root 61, 
3 over square root 61, 4 over square root 61. So that is our answer. And therefore, we can write down the answer that unit vector perpendicular to both u and v is this vector w right which is which is this correct so that is our answer and that is how we can solve these kinds of questions i hope it's absolutely clear so to find a unit orthogonal vector to any other vectors we have to do cross multiplication of those two vectors and then divide the product the cross multiple by its magnitude to get unit vector in a direction perpendicular to both so that is how it should be done thank you